Good morning everyone. We're going hunting today, in case you can't tell. I'm taking McAllister and, and, at this. Hello, what is this angle? I can't. Your girl's been up since five o'clock. I've plaited two horses. It took me over an hour, but I, that, I am getting quicker. That's like 35 minutes each. And shockingly, I find McAllister easy to plait easier than Billy because he's got a thicker mane and I think I'm just used to dealing with a lot of hair whereas Billy's got a normal thin mane and I just I don't think my fingers delicate enough to do all the like tiny little plaits so anyway that was a massive waffle um yeah I'm doing I'm doing second horses today I never normally do it because I I can't have two horses by myself because one of them is going to be stood on the box all day but the meat is going from like less than a mile down the road from where my house is so i thought hmm this could work i'll just nip back home swap McAllister over for billy and then join everybody again so that's the plan that's the plan let's see it's now let's do a time check because i know they're enjoyable it's 8 43 8 43 and as I said, they're both plaited. I just need to go up and tack up. And I think we're back in the bad lighting area, aren't we? Back over here, back over here. Um, because there's a chance that McAllister might just throw a little stop in. You know what he's like at the moment. I'm going to get on him a little bit early, take him in the field behind mine where I've discovered some hunt jumps. Um, I don't own this field, I don't own the jumps, but I'm using them. Thank you very much to whoever does own the field. I'm gonna pop him over those because I know he's gonna jump those and then hopefully it'll just get him in the spirit to go, go out and have a good time. But we'll see, I mean, if he's not, I feel like I've done everything I can with him to get his confidence up. And if he's not feeling it today, I'm gonna just bring him back early and swap him for Billy, who I know is gonna jump everything. He just won't stand still, so. You know, it's all fun, let's get going. No, let's not get going because I've got one more thing to talk to you about. My stock is ready tied. My stock is a ready tied one, which I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Isla got me onto these. Um, genius, it's taken me no time to put this on this morning. And you may notice, or maybe not in this terrible lighting scenario, it's not white, it's cream because I've mentioned it in another video, my skin tone is like the bane of my life. It took me ages to figure out why certain colours looked awful on me and why certain colours looked really good. And it's because I'm what they call a pale olive. So technically, warmer colours look better on me and white, white, just looked a little bit stark. So I thought I'd go with cream and see how I felt. And I'm not, I'm not 100% sold. So if you could let me know what you think, thank you. Okay, I am gonna go now. Boy, you've been out with me all morning. Now you need to go to bed. Come on. Like baby deal. Hey, baby deal. Come on, good boys. I've got my Crocs, you'll be fine. Why can I never just organize myself and be on time? I 
am just going to try him and some overreach boots today because he has caught himself and now he's got shoes on. I could do without it. Like, they're really cheap, so if I lose them, I don't really care. But it's worth a try, isn't it, boy? I have actually just put on the wrong foot, but also I don't care. commit a cardinal sin and I'm going to clip him onto his um bit for a second because I forgot to give Billy some hay and you just can't do that. Wait there. Oh boy. having to use the back camera because I dropped my phone the other day and it's all smashed and the camera doesn't work on the front so I can't see what you can see I'm just gonna guess that I do look good still and yeah we're well on schedule I only jumped I jumped over a little hedge and he felt like really up for it so we're gonna prayer for us today guys Billy all the way back to wherever the hunt are going to be in what 45 minutes time so wish me luck guys I'm having a nice time though one eternity later literally swapped over horses in about 15 minutes loaded Billy up into the horse box because I thought that's going to be quicker and then I was tracking where everybody was and they're only half a mile from the house anyway so I've just chucked the horse box to the side of the road in a lay by um, and my friend's going to come and get it for me and yeah I'm just now trying to find out where they are Billy's so excited I look a mess like I'm so dirty and I was <laughs> he's all lovely turned out like plaited and clean and then there's me absolute scrub I've had to hay the horses sort out Mr Jones chaos but we love it but it is still chaos 
I'm starving, I've put a little snack in my pocket and on Billy, I definitely need my strength, so I can't afford to be hungry. Well done, guys. Good work. So, <laughs> hello, stock. We got a lift back. Really? We got a lift home because it was getting dark and I was a bit worried about packing home. But Billy's had maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and he's been so good, literally didn't rear up once today. So overall, a very, very good day with both ponies. We're getting there, progress. <laughs> Look at that beautiful boy. I don't think today could have actually gotten any better. McAllister was an out and out superstar. He seems to have gotten over his phobia of hunt jumps. Um, so he jumped everything. I mean, he was out for, what was it? Maybe three, three and a half hours, which is quite a long time. And then Billy came out, literally we got there. I thought we were gonna have a 10 minute little party with the hunt but actually we stayed out for about an hour hour and a half maybe and he was really good no rearing up he was still very very excited but it was all good and he jumped everything um and most importantly i who if you know me in real life you'll know that i have no sense of direction and no map reading skills i found them it took me a while i went the wrong way several times um i think when i said to you Oh, I've just ditched the horse box in a lay-by because I'm half a mile from the hunt. I wasn't. I was about three miles in the other direction. So poor Billy's had a bit of a workout. But, guys, it was all good. All good in the hood. Sorry that I said that. <sighs> Let's get the saddle off. And I'm going to turn him out for an hour. Maybe not even that. I just want him to go out in the field and have a little stretch and a roll. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being the world's best boy. And McAllister, two of the world's best boys. And Mr. Jones yesterday. You've not heard an awful lot about Mr. Jones lately. He, thank you, he had his show jumping lesson yesterday and he is flying along. So everyone's doing well, it's all going well. This is one of the best weeks I've had. Let's take a moment. Oh, you're a good boy. 